drive anywhere in Omaha, and you're bound to see hiring signs. Some restaurants are even making it into a competition. Greg Kutchel owns more than a dozen restaurants in the metro. He says this is the worst he's seen it in 40 years in the industry. It's always been a challenge in Omaha with our low unemployment to begin with, but recent events have really sent it into the stratosphere. At one of his restaurants, Jam's Legacy, servers used to have three tables. Now, it's not unusual for them to have more than five. I think our guests are aware of our issues and uh, hopefully will be understanding because, you know, my restaurants, as many, are, we're not delivering the service that we would like to. Tables sit empty during the lunch hour at places like Qdoba. They've had to resort to only accepting lunch orders through the app because they don't have enough people working. Other restaurants are closing early or closing entirely. It's just kind of a matter of survival is to hang on to the people you've got and try not to overwork them. It's hard to pinpoint the problem. Kutchel thinks it's perhaps the perception of lack of growth or good unemployment benefits. His benefits run out, that's going to help um, for sure. But I think it's a long term, it's going to be a long term problem that uh, needs to be addressed. One of the challenges we have is people making an appointment to come in for an interview and then just don't show up. Um, and I think that's part of the unemployment issue is they're required to go out, apply. So they're applying, they just really don't want to work. He's hopeful students can help fill some of the open positions, at least through the summer. He hopes the flexible hours and opportunity for growth encourage them to stick with it. In Omaha, Stephanie Nolte, 3 News Now.